Today I want to share with you five secrets of stopping drinking. These tips are going to help you stop drinking easily if you're looking at changing your relationship with alcohol. I'm Simon Chappell, the Quit Alcohol Coach and the author of The Sober Survival Guide and the book How to Quit Alcohol in 50 Days. I've also got a new book coming out in December called How to Heal Your Inner Child, which is something that maybe you want to look at in the second phase of your sober journey. But if you're currently evaluating your relationship with alcohol or you need some extra motivation or inspiration these five secrets to stopping drinking easily are sure to help you so let's dive in with the very first tip and make sure you stick around to the end because there's a bonus tip that absolutely helped me it's one of the best tips that I can possibly give you and of course I want to leave it to the end I want to make sure you watch the entire video now the first tip is that you need to have a strong reason why think about any time when you've become really motivated and determined to do anything the reason you were so motivated and determined and maybe it was having a baby moving house moving city whatever it might have been getting a new job the reason you were determined it was because you had a strong reason why the stronger your reason why, the more motivated and determined and the more likely you're going to be to smash any obstacles out of your way and achieve the goal. But you've got to have a strong reason why to make that happen. So now's a great time to get out a pen and a piece of paper and write down exactly why you want to stop drinking alcohol. What does it mean to you? What's your why? Get really clear on that and you're going to start to find yourself moving very quickly down the path to alcohol freedom. The second secret that makes stopping drinking easy is exploring your beliefs. Now, we all have beliefs. Our beliefs are shaped by our past experiences, the things that we've been taught, the things we've experienced in our lives through our friends and our family members. They all shape our beliefs. But just because we believe something, it doesn't mean it's true. And it doesn't necessarily mean that that belief is a good fit for us. We need to try other beliefs sometimes and be open to challenging our own beliefs. And very often, people who are exploring their relationship with alcohol have beliefs that they can't relax without alcohol. They can't can't sleep without alcohol. They can't have fun without alcohol. All of those beliefs were beliefs that I once held, but I worked hard on changing my limiting beliefs by looking at the evidence and then shaping new, helpful and healthy beliefs that would enable me to move forward into my alcohol-free life. There's other videos on my YouTube channel. And by the way, make sure you subscribe to the channel and then you won't miss another video. And hit the bell icon when you subscribe and you'll get a notification when new videos are going live. There are other videos on my channel that will show you exactly how to change any limited beliefs, beliefs that are holding you back. So if that's something that's coming up for you, and I absolutely believe that it's a key component of successfully quitting drinking, then make sure you work on that area. The third secret to successfully stopping drinking is that you need to get excited and motivated. In life, we tend to get what we expect. Think about a time where maybe you've been to a social function and you weren't really looking forward to it. You convinced yourself you were going to have a bad time. You probably did have a bad time. And then think about a time when you were excited, motivated and energised and you probably had a great time. We get what we expect. So if you head in to your alcohol-free life expecting it to be exciting and expecting there to be lots of new discoveries about yourself, expecting things to be better for your life to improve, then that is very likely what you're going to get. That's not to say there won't be some difficult times at the beginning and some disrupted sleep and some emotional ups and downs. It happens to almost anybody. But once things settle down, you'll find that your life just becomes better and better. There's every reason to be excited and motivated. There's other videos on my YouTube channel right here that you can explore about getting the right mindset, getting motivated and getting excited. Believe me, it's absolutely worth it. But of course, until you know and until you have some of those experiences, it can be hard to get into that right state of mind. And sometimes you need to take a leap of faith, but trust yourself and trust the process. The fourth secret to successfully stopping drinking is to make sure you gather the data on your journey. 
and track your progress. Not only will this help you see how far you've come on your own individual journey to alcohol freedom, but it will also enable you to notice what's causing emotional ups and downs, what's causing cravings, what's triggering you to think about taking a drink. The data that you gather on your journey can be absolute gold. And I wouldn't have made it on my own journey if I hadn't had my trusted journal and a brilliant app that enabled me to track the days, to track my mood and to make notes as I went. And not only that, when you've used a journal, it can help you get things that in your head seem really challenging and almost overwhelming. You can dump them onto paper and suddenly things start to become more rational. So there's two uses. You can track the data, you can measure your progress and you can get things out of your head down onto the paper and bring a new level of rationality to them. So make sure you track your progress. The fifth secret to stopping drinking is finding a tribe that feels like a good fit for you. Now there's lots of sober communities out there. Everything from communities for women, communities for people who work, communities for people who've stopped drinking and they're into sports. There's lots and lots of communities. Some of them are based on different regions and different countries. I run my own sober community, be sober, be sober, as you may know. And you're welcome to join my Facebook community. And there you'll find other people on the exact same journey as you. Some of them will be further forward. Some of them will be behind you. It doesn't matter. Everybody's there for the same reason and to share their experiences, to help themselves and to help other people. Many people who try to go this alone without support, without a tribe, find it really challenging. So make sure you surround yourself with people who are positive. Find people you can look up to, people who can mentor you, people who inspire you and you're going to find that you inspire yourself. But I promised a bonus secret to stop in drinking. And one of the things that has become so apparent to me as I've moved forward in my alcohol-free journey, and I haven't drunk now for well over three years, is that after I quit drinking and worked through the stages to becoming alcohol-free, I realized that there was still an underlying sense that in some way I didn't feel good enough. And a lot of this stuff was from my past. I experienced trauma as a child. I also had had a bit of a dysfunctional family setup that caused me problems as I moved into adulthood. And working on self-compassion and self-love was a big thing for me. And I did a lot of therapy. I read just about every self-help book I could lay my hands on. And actually, I found that the big breakthrough came when I worked on really healing the emotional upset. And that required lots of exploration. And I found it an absolutely fascinating adventure. One of the big things that helped me that I want to share today, and I've not talked about on any of my other videos, is the process of tapping. And you can find some brilliant videos that will guide you through tapping. You can do tapping meditations and they can allow you to let go of emotional discomfort and upset. There's even tapping for addictive and unhelpful behaviours. There's an excellent app called Tapping Solution. I'll put that on the screen right now. I highly recommend you have a look at it. Tapping has felt like the icing on the cake on my journey of self-love, self-healing and personal growth. And I'd recommend it if you're finding that you've got blockages, challenges, fears, anxieties, emotional ups and downs in any area. It can be the magic tool that you need to add to your toolbox. So explore tapping and give it a try and see if it's something that works for you. So until next time, as I mentioned, do subscribe to the channel. It means a lot when you become part of my community. Simply hit the subscribe button on the screen and click the bell icon and you'll be joining an amazing community of people. I'd love you to be part of it. And I'd love to hear your secrets to stopping drinking. Post a comment below. Let me know your experiences and what worked or didn't work for you. And also, if you need help stopping drinking, you're welcome to join my Stop Drinking program. You can try it totally free for 14 days. The website addresses on the screen right now. Until next time, I will see you again very soon.